Welcome to our tutorial on working with drawing objects, graphic objects, and smart blocks in the Residential Wire Pro. Uh, in the Wire Pro, we have uh, several options uh, for drawing uh, different custom shapes and things like that with the different tools that we have, as well as being able to save those shapes uh, as a grouped object, uh, what we call a graphic object, to where if you wanted to insert that and use it over and over again. Uh, on our smart blocks, uh, we'll show you that a little bit later. Um, and basically, uh, for example, you can insert a legend that has predefined uh, text uh, blocks and stuff that you can edit those, um, as well as, let's say, add a logo um, and create that uh, to meet your needs. On any of our layers here, uh, so we go to walls, windows, doors, the appliances, you'll notice that the symbols will adjust according to uh, the particular category that we're in. Uh, and all of them have a drawing tools uh, option is uh, the same on all of them here. So if I just go to the floor plan section, uh, we just have our drawing tools. Uh, we have lines, polyline, um, squares, rectangles. We'll just draw a few of these for you. Uh, grab a rectangle, and all we need to do is just start uh, by left clicking and then go into our endpoint and then left clicking again, and that'll set our object. I'm going to zoom in here. Um, and just to let you know, uh, this uh, rectangle tool is still selected um, as far as active. If I just start drawing again, um, I can keep drawing these objects. Now to de deactivate that, what I do is I need to right click and then that way it unselects it and then I'm free to go and select a different um, drawing object that I want to use. And at any time that you have a drawing object, um, if you select it, over on the right will be the different properties for adjusting the angle uh, manually here. Um, or we have uh, what's known as our uh, keyboard R offset value, which is new to the Wire Pro. Um, you can select the degrees um, that you want it to increment in. So if I won't have it for 45, and then I have my shape here, and I just hit R on my keyboard, it'll just automatically rotate to those degrees. And here is uh, some position arrows. And I can also do this uh, on my keyboard if I just hold in uh, my left, right, up, down, I can fine adjust these uh, as well. And other options we have available, uh, we can set the fill color, uh, the point size of the outline. We have a black border currently set. I can set it to be transparent. So we move that over top of another object. I can also um, move the position of this so I can move it forward or behind another object. And some other objects, uh, we have a text tool here, so I can draw a text box. And if I right click to unselect it and then reselect it here, I go down to the bottom, I can set the alignment, uh, the font size, uh, and the font here. Hit apply text, or apply changes. So as you see that we're drawing, uh, something to be aware of uh, when we're drawing objects, so let's say I'm going to click on this rectangle tool. Up on the top here, you'll notice it says floor plan scale. Uh, basically what this means is um, my floor plan scale currently set to 1 to 96. So if I were to adjust that, um, this object would scale accordingly. If I were to set it to page scale, so let's go ahead and set this object to page scale. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change uh, the ratio of this floor plan. Let's go down to 164. So you'll notice that my other objects adjusted, but this particular object stayed the same. And that's because it's set for the page scale. So if we had an object that was uh, set for two inches based on the page, uh, it would stay that regardless of what our page scale is set to. So I'll change that back to 196. And we also have a picture tool we can use. We draw a box of an area that we want to insert the picture, and then select that and hit Browse. And let's just grab this logo that we have. Just going to hit OK. And then on the Polyline tool, let me just go ahead and show you that briefly. So let's just select a 45 degree snap. And so basically now as I click and draw, I can uh, go ahead and draw, and as I move moving my cursor, it's going to snap uh, based on 45 degrees. Right click to set that. Now currently my snap is set for one inch. Um, if I zoom in some more here, you can see my cursor is snapping. And basically to set that, 
Let me zoom out again and if I click on the ruler over here, then I get the properties for the ruler. I'm going to scroll down and currently I'm set to one inch increment. And if I select here this uh, display grid, now we can actually see if I zoom in real close how it's snapping here. So if I wanted a, a bigger snap area, let's say four inches, I said four inches with the tick mark there and set increment. Now I have a larger grid area I can work with. So I'm going to go ahead and open a sample project. I'll open and I'm going to grab this sample here. And I'm going to zoom in. And so we see on my ruler, um, it's still set to the four inch increment. And let's just draw a custom object here. And what I'll do is I'll, with the drawing tools, I'll draw a custom object and then we'll save it as a graphic object. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's grab this uh, freehand, this polyline tool. I'm going to keep it on 45 degree snap. And let's just draw an arrow here. Okay. And let's change the color of this. Just go black. The line color. Scroll down. Here's the fill color. Okay, so I'm going to copy and paste this. Right click, copy, right click, paste, or Control C for copy and Control V for paste. And here again, we're just going to make use of this uh, R tool on the keyboard. And copy and paste again. And rotate. And here we have a custom shape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the shape. And then I'm going to right click and choose Save as a Graphic Object. And in here we have a bunch of preset ones. Um, this one is uh, currently in the category Landscape and Outdoors. Let's go ahead and go to the Shape section. And we're just going to choose, let's just say Custom Arrow. And hit OK. And so now this particular object uh, isn't grouped, but uh, when we bring in that graphic object, let's go ahead and go to our shape here. So we have custom arrow, and let's zoom out it paste it here right in the center. And so now this shape uh, is all one solid object, uh, and we can even on the properties over here, we can scale it to any size that we want. Looks like I got this little misaligned here. And if we want to uh, tweak this, let's uh, just use this as an example here. Let's right click and explode the graphic object. Uh, this is going to bring these back into their individual objects. Uh, adjust that here. Let's move that up a little bit. Now we'll go ahead and resave that. And I'm just going to overwrite the existing one that we had here. There we go. And here is our newly adjusted graphic object. Here in this particular project, we have several graphic objects that we're using here. Uh, we have some shrubs and things. Uh, let me right click and insert a graphic object. Let's go to landscape and outdoors. And we have, let's go with a tree here. And so here's a tree style that we have. And again, these are all grouped together. And if we wanted to edit that, we'd go ahead and right click on it and explode it. Here we have um, a graphic uh, that was created on the roof line here uh, using a polyline tool. And I'll just show you as far as the fill goes on that. If I scroll over here on the properties, I have the option on the fill type. I'm going to change the fill type. Uh, let's just go with something of a, uh, let's go with this here. And I'm going to hit OK. And then on the color, I want to change the color so you can see it. There we go. And so uh, on this property down here, the fill scale, I can adjust the scale however I want uh, to make it look um, exactly how I want it to look here. 
we have a couple options on there and you can also change the back color of that um, just go ahead and do that let's go with gray here so there'll probably be several points in your design where you're going to want uh, some different custom shapes and things so hopefully that'll help you um, work with uh, your projects in the wire pro so I'm going to make some room here uh, I'm going to insert a smart block now and so I'm going to right click and choose insert a smart block and we have some pre-designed uh, uh, text box that you can use so let's just grab this legend here so as we insert it I can choose to scale it down to fit how I want just move it into this corner over here and then to edit it all we need to do is either uh, simply click this edit smart block or we can just double click it and it'll bring up the smart block editor and in here uh, we can actually here's a picture we can click on that picture and we can double click that and we can change that to our logo here and we can double click in any one of these text fields uh, to be able to adjust these so and then we want to click OK and then when we're done uh, this um, was adjusted to fit uh, everything that I need here I can just choose save as and save it as a new uh, smart block and then anytime I wanted to use that um, it's available for me to pull in again and just hit OK and then the changes are made down here and they'll show that there and another smart block I'll show you here briefly let's go ahead and insert uh, another one and we're gonna go to the symbol legend we're just gonna grab this one that we had made for a uh, bathroom and this is a legend let's shrink this down a little bit okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and double click here and we have a couple options to show you here so um, here in this legend if I click in this area that's um, showing these symbols here I have the option of changing this. If I just click this symbol up here that says add change symbol, what it's going to do is give me access um, to the uh, entire symbol library and I just choose the symbol that I want to display. Let's go with this uh, one horsepower motor. We hit OK and then I'm just going to double click into this. Let's say one horsepower motor. Just click OK. So this is a way that we can uh, create our own custom uh, simple legend you can adjust uh, these titles here too and one other thing that uh, you can also do um, let's go ahead and go down to here let's go ahead and up above we have add change graphic object so we can also add a graphic object that we might have created or one that's already in there so let's just grab let's go ahead and go to furniture let's just grab this uh, chair hit OK so now here we have a chair a graphic object that's been inserted so you can insert either uh, symbols or graphic objects depending what you want here and then when you're done just hit OK and then all the changes will be made and this concludes our tutorial for working with uh, graphic objects and smart box please check out our other tutorials on working with the residential wire pro